Come on, we got this ring. Woo! I don't want to touch those guys. I just gotta shoot them as soon as I can. There we go. It's all about staying calm, aiming up, paying attention to what's going on, being chill. Yeah, you can push those back by shooting them, but you don't need to. It's all about the DPS race. There you go. See. You just do the damage. Yay! So you get a little cutscene there. I like that the cut that cutscene always that that cutscene always shows even if you like fuck up or die. The idiot, a mysterious young man who rose from nobody, who rose from a nobody to greatness. Blah, blah, blah. A mysterious young man who rose from nobody to the greatest hero of all time, seemingly overnight, using his self-made death machines called cores. He claims to have defeated the world's greatest champions and will be the first inductee in the Hall of Heroes in over a hundred years. Yeah. So, cute little thing. I'm gonna go kill the idiot. Let's go. Fight through the Hall of Heroes and take out that blonde idiot to claim your title. So I might die a few times. This stage is pretty awesome, though. Because you basically get to fight all the enemies unique to those people's stages. And you go up a little bit. Not that. Go through like a little gauntlet of their little enemies. Which is pretty dope. Oh, I just dash into that bunny rocket. Ah, oh, shit. I stopped moving, that's what I get. Oh, I forgot that actually hits you. Okay. A nice little cutscene. And now you fight two of the bosses at the same time. I believe they share a health bar. Oh, I ran out of dashes. Oh, 
armor yet. No, they both have their own armor. It's good to know. I just think this is a really good way to save time and money. I think this is a really good job of showing you like how well designed these bosses are, because you get to fight two, you get to fight two of them at the same time, and all they they did have a significantly reduced health, of course, but it's not like impossible to do still. Like oh shit, like increasing the numbers doesn't make it any less like it doesn't really change the fairness of the fight really, because as long as you're quick and not terrible at the game, you'll be fine. White always gives me trouble. There's just so much happening. <laughs> I walked into it too. Shit. Almost got one there. Oh god, I wasn't paying attention. You got no life. He's gonna pull the time his face in. Cool. sets of two for Gibeons too, which is pretty dope. See this four of them. Ah, shit. Definitely going to die. No, I can't believe I got. I gotta believe. Fuck. Okay. Just a little more. Dang it. I might go through this again in like an all katana run or something. Yeah, so he has all the different weapons you can buy, which is pretty cool. It's a it's a Virgil fight, which is always awesome in my opinion. I think that's kind of lame is you can't switch your weapons out that quickly like he can. You you give yourself a loadout of two. There you go. He's done. And now we watch the ending cutscene, I think. Little guppies. Yeah, this is a nice little message. It's a little feel-good game, you know? The Kitet army. The drones. 
frequency buds. <coughs> Excuse me. The rocket squad. These are robot. These are bots. The dragon spores. Look at this fucking classic Kirby. You beat the game. Look at all the little enemies. Spoil how he's eating clicking. Put it into kitty. The little fun little thing. Give me in stew. Proliferating. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, that was, um. I guess that's bleed, guys. <laughs> Declining the comment. It's good. Yeah, it's just like a feel good little game that I like. <laughs> It's not long, it's just this fun little thing. I, I go through it from time to time just because it's fun and I have fond memories of it. And it's a pretty... just like a fun experience for me, I don't know. I like it a lot. Which is why I'm doing this thing during this show, I guess. Bleed's usually never very expensive and it's almost always on sale during Steam sales. Pick it up! Like, it costs next to nothing, and it's super fun, it's super good, I mean, so much love obviously went into this game. A nice little thingy that they end with. See? It's just like a feel-good game, you know? <laughs> I like it a lot. I uh, forget the name of the guy who makes it, of course, because, you know, I'm recording. Uh, but there's just a lot of love that this game has, and I definitely feel like you should go pick it up. You know, it's next to nothing. It's super cheap. Bleed 2 is coming out, which is what inspired me to do this whole thing. It's it's a great game. It's a great time. It's a, tons of fun. Don't take my word for it. Go play it. It's awesome. Uh, I don't even think this will probably be the last time you see this on the channel. I might try to get Edwin to go through it or something. I mean my elbow, or maybe Xavier, you know, we'll see, I mean, it's a, it's a good game, and it's short, um, there's speed runs of it, go look up a speed run of it if you didn't like my playthrough, because I'm not good at the game, but there's people who speed run it are awesome at it, it just has a lot of, you know, there's a lot of passion behind this, and I really like games where you can tell that the people and that were behind it, the people who made it were really passionate about what they were doing. And you can definitely catch that feel in, in this game. Alright, uh, I guess that's the end of Bleed, guys. Thanks for watching.